Hello, this is Dr. Claudia Kotka from the Washington Institute for Dentistry and Laser Surgery. Whitening, destaining, it's a very, very uh, sought after um, process, procedure, treatments, um, approach every day that everybody wants to, of course, um, implement with ease and great um, efficacy. Two things that I like to just remind, um, uh, of course, our patients at the Institute about, and of course you, um, the whitening. It's very important when you do the whitening, particularly the syringe uh, process, it's important to remember that you do not want to have continuous exposure of the whitening to the tooth structure. Oftentimes, the ideal recommended startup, if that means if you have never had whitening before, the startup uh, period should be up for about one to two weeks. Of course, it has to be um, done in a uh, tooth structure that has been cleansed, that means tissues are healthy and there's not staining in terms of the calculus or tartar or hard matrix and the tooth structure so that you actually have uh, or allow for access of the actual whitening product to actually reach those um, the, the natural um, tooth structure and the surface of the tooth structure itself. Additionally, one has to remember that you do not want to have continuous whitening for a couple of days continuously, meaning every, every month, two to three days, you uh, whiten. My recommendation is to really stay away from that type of frequency of whitening. Of course, customize whitening in terms of destaining completely in order for you to reach the most appropriate uh, destained surface. And of course, um, you, that's when you see the more whitened appears, uh, appearance of the teeth, it's I always idealized, and then of course engage the maintenance uh, frequency. The other quick way to mitigate and just neutralize um, the um, effects of any type of dyes in the foods, either from breakfast, lunch, or dinner, is to consider, of course, increasing your saliva production during those times, especially after having those type of foods. And mints are really one of the best ways to do that. It doesn't necessarily engage the jaws function and the pressures like gum does, but at the same time, it gives you that fresh pick-me-up. It really gets the saliva stimulated in the mouth, and so that really helps with neutralizing some of those uh, dyes impacts on the tooth structure as well as on the gums. For more information, you know where to find us, so please write us your questions or email us, whatever you feel comfortable, at www.dclaserdentist.com.